guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well, I've come down to Brisbane on a special trip here at the new shop, Cleaver Firearms. Now it's a massive 594 metre square shop. There's everything for every shooter's interest here. So let's go on and take a look. All right, JB. Thanks for your time, mate. Good right. to see you. We're finally here inside the new shop and I'm really excited to have a look around. What can you tell us about how's uh, business been everything for the last week since you've opened it? Mate, it's been absolute chaos the last week. We've got six new phone lines coming in here. They don't stop. People coming through the door from yeah. open to close. And, mate, after close, they're still trying to get in here. Yeah, so, <laughs> I so noticed that been, today yeah, even. So First weekend today and it's been absolute, absolute chaos. But um, it's absolutely awesome. awesome. Excellent. Mate, the feel of the shop too, like I'm just looking around and you've just got that real sort of log cabin feel, even the look of it from outside. Yeah. Uh, where's the influence come from, do you know? Uh, Tony's got a you know, strong affection of the Australian outback and that. He's got cattle properties and uh, yeah, just the love of the outback. So I think the old builder in him has got a lot of the timber in and just made it look the way it is and it's, it's unique. Yep. Well, mate, as most people know, you guys have always had uh, a very big hand in the market and being competitive with ammo prices and you know, firearm prices and that. And I can see here this whole aisle is just all ammunition. And we've yep. got all centerfire ammunition by the looks of it. Yep, yep. Mate, this is all laid out from, we've got basic specials, uh, rim fire, pistol, centerfire, all the way along yeah, here. Because I can see that uh, as well, like, you know, you've got everything pretty much on display. Everything that I know you, you stock and that, it's here it for is. people to see now. So if we can, mate, can we start down and sort of in the bottom corner of the, the yep. shop and work our way through and just show us what's on display? Mate, basically this corner here is all your optics. Okay? Yeah. The new Redfield and loophole display centers that they've got. So you basically can pick up a rifle stock now and test the scope out instead of picking it up with your hand. Yeah, okay. excellent. Um, so that's all the Redfield and loophole uh, specials and that on. So we've got all the scopes on display over there, rings, etc. I've noticed too, the first thing that I noticed as soon as I walked in the shop, when you have actually have a look around the, the top part of the shop, that's where you've got all your, looks like Cat C and D stuff too. Yeah, that's all the restricted stuff and C's and D's, a lot of history and stuff up there as well. Yep. So, they're all up there too. The shop doubles as, oh, I think, kind of like a firearms museum, as you'll see later, with, particularly with the Colt Vault. Yep. But, um, yeah, all around the top there, we've got things from World War II, etc. Yeah. And I mean, it's good to see because I, I mean, like people like myself with, you know, CAT C and D for occupational use and other primary producers and that, it's good to see a shop that, you know, isn't afraid to get right into them and uh, start stocking them and importing them. Yeah. And, uh, you yeah, know, as you guys know, like, I mean, um, you know, Jade's uh, been responsible for getting in my AR and at a good price and stuff like that too. So it's just, you know, it's great to see the availability of that stuff starting to come in now. Definitely. So, Huge range of um, C's and D's now coming in with yep. us with um, due to the imports and that for our contacts over the states. So. Yeah. So how do you find? Uh, you, I imagine you get quite a, ma a big amount of primary producers and people with CAT C and D licenses coming on in anyway. Yeah, mate. From all over the country, pretty much over the phone on the internet. Yep. Um, ringing up, wanting to know what's going on. Particularly with the, some of the new changes and that that have happened. With the federal ones, yeah. yeah. So yeah. a lot more people getting into it. Absolutely, oh, it's great to see. So, and I see too, like just looking around, like you know, you've got a massive collection of knives here. Yeah. And I see too, uh, you've even got a lot of the folding knives too that are pretty hard to get nowadays uh, because of obviously the federal imports, but it's still legally, you know, able for, uh, for us to possess them here. Yep. So I see, yeah, you've got Benchmade yeah, and. We've got Benchmade, it's one of the top um, brand of knives out there, one virtually indestructible. Yep. Um, yep. Massive yeah. range of handguns here too. Yep, mate, it's got to be the biggest range of handguns in Australia. I think, uh, to be quite honest, I'm not just saying this, it's probably the biggest range on display I've seen in Australia of both, you know, rifles and everything you've got here. So I see you also, you cater to not only the modern sports shooter, but you've got your older single action um, pistols and... and yeah, we, do, we do all the um, Western action, uh, action sports uh, and collectibles is another big one as well. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of people with collector's licenses in there. Once you start sort of getting out there and meeting a few different shooters and that, I, mean, I was surprised because, I mean, I've got a collector's as well and just surprised at the amount of people with great collections, you know, of handguns and that. I see, too, you've got uh, the Hera kits, too. Yeah, you've got the Hera kits up there for um, all different sort of handguns to go in. Yep. Um, and then underneath that's the red jacket stocks for Ruger 1022s and Chargers. Yep. Um, so they're all handgun compatible in Queensland and most states. 
it's just awesome to see a lot of the chassis come in. It just makes the makes the hobby of it of tinkering around and just you know putting it into your, basically your custom firearm basically yeah, yeah. with what your uh, with what your uh, preference is. So okay, so you got more magazines and everything up here too. Mm -hmm. Magazines, torches, sights, uh, swing swivels, everything you need, accessory you need. Yep, and even we'll have to get a shot of this. Even ready for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> It could happen still. That's right. <laughs> Everyone has to be prepared. So, mate, I have to ask more on a serious note now. I'm mad keen to see uh, the vault here. What, what's in here? Okay, this is Tony's personal cult collection. Yep. Okay, now there's guns in here that uh, you're not going to see anywhere else in Australia, some probably not even in the world. Yep. Um, any customers quite welcome to come up and stick their head up to the bars and have a look in. Special customers with requests to Tone will even be allowed to go in and have a look. Yep. So um, we might go and get Tony and see if he'll let us be special to go in and have a look. Excellent, mate. Sounds good. Okay, okay, so we're in the room now. JB, the first thing that hits me in the face here, mate, is this rifle. Um, obviously, it's a revolving action rifle. Can you yep. tell us a bit more about it? Mate, it's a 27 inch barrel 44 cal percussion rifle. There's only 20 of those things made. Wow. So that is one of one left. So what about in this whole room, mate? Like everything here looks looks to me anyway like 1800s. You know, is, is what, what sort of era? What sort of time? Everything in here is pre 1900. Okay, so absolutely everything we see here is all pre 1900. Yeah. Excellent. Well, if we can, mate, it's just on. I just wonder. There's so many in here to, to talk about. If we can, if we start with what's this sort of one we got up here? Uh, mate, that there is an 1850 Allen Pepper box. Yep. Okay, that belonged to Grace Kelly, Ned Kelly's sister. Wow. Okay, so she was uh, born in, I think, 1865. Yep. Um, it's a 31 cal six shot. Right. So that was passed down through the family over the history over the years, and yep. uh, has ended up with us here. Yeah, I've, I must admit, mate. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a very knowledgeable person with all the pre 1900 stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, forgive me if I sort of ask some silly questions with it. I just a lot of this I've only seen in a lot of movies, you know, because you don't even see displays like this anywhere here in Australia. So, um, and what's this one here, mate? It looks fairly. So it looks like a Walker to me, but is that it is, mate. That is an original 1847 Colt Walker. Yep. Okay, there was 1100 originally produced at yep. the time. Uh, there was a thousand for military use and one hundred for civilian use. Yep. There's only about two hundred left in the world now. And that's one of the two hundred. Awesome. And that is that the original holster as well? That's an original by the look of it. As well. So that's an actual cult. Cult collector's dream is to get a kid yeah. like that. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I see here too. You got one that's uh, basically. Mate, it looks like that's been buried for absolute years. It was, mate. That was found underneath a fencing post at a stockyards up in Western Queensland. Yeah. Uh, I pulled out the old post and found that one underneath there. Uh, by the looks of it, it's been buried for quite some time. It, you know, probably up to 100 years. As you can see, it's the same as some of the other guns around it, which are in still in good nick. Yeah. So, yeah, that thing was... Um, goodness knows what the history of that one is. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. Every, every uh, firearm in here has all got a a story, a history behind it, hasn't it, because of the age of them. So anything else in here that really sort of stands out that you can tell us about? Well, this one up here, okay, now that is a 1851 Colt Navy, yep. 36 calibre. It's got the original holster just at the front of the barrel there. Yep. That was issued to the Beechworth Police District at the time of the Kelly Gang. So that uh, revolver there was more than likely used by a trooper that would have gone on the train up to Glen Rowan and to hunt down the Gallagher. Absolutely awesome. Mate, the history in here is just absolutely unreal. All right, well, we'll move on and have a look at the rest of the shop. I see here what's mainly just all sort of accessories. Got a fair bit of Blackhawk gear as well. Yeah, it's all accessories, mate. ATI. Um, so basically, we, we import ATI, so you can do all your stocks, etc., for different sort of guns. Yep. Uh, scope mounts, etc. Blackhawk uh, yep. holsters, slings, accessories. So any of the action shooters and that can get their stuff. Security as well. We do all level two and three security holsters. Yep. Um, so any security or law enforcement. Yep. Because I, I um, I've used the Serba uh, holsters a fair bit myself, and. Yep. Uh, and really good, they're just good kit, and no, it's good to see a good range here, so yeah. just really nice. So, what about your backpacks and stuff here over the no, back, mate? We've got mate, a variety of backpacks over there, so day packs, three day packs. Yep. Uh, 
you know, different patterns, camouflage, even for the ladies if they do so desire the pink. Yep. Um, gun bags, pistol cases, Summer. animal cooling thing. We got yep. boot, we even black hawk boots. Yep. The whole kit and boodle. Okay. This is a this is a good example of just how much ammo you guys stock. It is. Man. <laughs> That's our um, Remington 223 we got on special. Yep. So buy it by the bulk, get it out there as cheap as you can. Yeah. So ideal, obviously, you know, people with seven six one fives and stuff who just want something cheap to plink with and stuff yep. like that. So yeah. awesome to see, mate. You got apparel and everything here. It's just yeah. endless stuff. So Safes, t-shirts, more stocks. Yep. And if we can, what we'll do before we move on, we'll get a, a, a just a clip up there of the a couple of ARs, M4s you got. And yeah, that's some of the restricted stuff you can't, um, well, a lot of people can't have everything from a H&K to an F88. Yeah. And most of, most of these sale, are for sale to obviously people with the right licenses. With the right license and the right price. Yep, absolutely. So if we can, mate, I just want to get uh, uh, give people a bit of an idea of just how many firearms, obviously, uh, the different styles and that that you cater to for, obviously, you know, your A and B licences. So, can you tell us uh, about just in general what's on your on your racks uh, mate, displayed we've, here? We've, we've got everything: Remington, Seiko, Marlin, um, Ticker. Well, I suppose much anything you can get in Australia, we can get. Sorry. I was going to say probably the fair uh, question to ask is: there anything that you can't get? <laughs> Not really, not really at all. Yeah. Um, mate, and then up above we've got um, a lot of military grade stuff, so a lot of historic stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, Gants and Smellies, etc. Yep. for the collectors as well. Yeah. And some more actual uh, usable C's and D's for producer and security guys. Yeah, and it's good to see, as I said, uh, as I mentioned before, mate, it's just great to see such a wide range that caters uh, to, you know, such a wide amount of, um, you know, shooters, really. You know, your collectors, your primary producers, and then you just your normal sports shooters, everything's here, so absolutely awesome. All right, mate, if we can, and we'll finish up down in the bottom corner here, if you yeah. can just sort of give us a bit of a rundown of what else we've got here. Mate, it's all reloading gear, so we got, um, Ammo, actual shells, dies, presses, all your uh, powder dispensers, yep. uh, primers, shut more brass. We, we do all sorts of brass, Remington, Federal, up to your high top range Lafayette. Um, and then down into more reloading, mate. Reloading is a big, big part of the business. Everyone likes to reload for the cheap ammo. Yep. And um, we do nothing but the best stuff. What do you find, uh, too, JB, with, uh, you know, it seems to be the topic of conversation nowadays, the ammo crisis in the States. Are you guys actually feeling any of that here, or? Yeah, um, I think everyone is. I think yeah. every importer get that green stuff, and particularly ammo. The ammo importers are you know, copping it a bit hard over there, getting, getting ammo out of there. Yeah. But um, it'll resolve itself eventually. Yeah, yeah, well, let's hope so. I suppose in the meantime, obviously, you're reloading products. There's still plenty of supplies of them, so there people is. can go into that anyway. So I see here you've got a couple of ACOGs, and you carry the Trigicon line by the look of it. Yeah, so. there's a Trigicon line there, so any Trigi sites we can get in. Along the reflex sites, we do all the Trigicon sites that we can get our hands on. Also down below the Alcans, yep. um, which are a new uh, favourite amongst the military uh, forces out in the world there. Yep. Okay, so we do all those. And are they just a, a, a red dot, basically? or? Uh, mate, there's a, they're a dot with or also just a normal reticle. Okay. Depending on which one you get. Yep, so very similar to like your normal standard ACOG yep. range. But with the, um, the ACOGs, the, with the dot is always there because of the design of the thing with the, the, the um, light coming through the tube on the top. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I think Trigger are kind of big sellers with that, aren't they? They're yeah. no batteries and that required. It, so. they're, they're, they're ready to rock and roll all the time. You bring the side up, it's, there's a dot there. Yeah, absolutely yeah. awesome. All right, mate. Well, look, this is uh, there's so much to see here, and uh, you know, honestly, we'd be here for absolute hours, guys, if we were trying to go through every single thing. But the whole idea of the review was just to give people a taste of what the shop has to offer. So, if you're in a state, you know, and you've dealt with obviously cleavers many a time over the phone, hopefully this will give you a look around, and you can see actually what the shop looks like. And this brand new shop has only been open for about a week now. Is that right? One week. Exactly. Yeah, about a week. Well, there you go. A week exactly. So, uh, highly recommend. You know, it doesn't matter. 
matter what background you or interest you have in shooting, there's something here to cater to your needs. So I imagine people can get gift certificates, all sorts of things yeah, here yeah. and gift certificates. Stuff, we do so. sales over the phone on the internet. Yeah. And yeah. They say we serve in all of Australia. Absolutely. All right, guys, we'll leave the review at that. Uh, JB, thanks for your time, mate. Really appreciate no coming in and having a look around. So, guys, Bye -bye. come on in and check it out in your own time.